So many of you are facing the misrepresentation error or the website need improvement error in your Merchant Center account. I've been there three years ago when I just purchased my inventory for one of the two brands that I had back then. I was 100% ready to advertise on Google Ads. All the inventory came to the warehouse in Holland and then suddenly, boom, my Merchant Center account was hit with a misrepresentation error. I couldn't advertise, I couldn't make profit and I couldn't figure out how it actually worked. So I spent a lot of time, money and energy trying to find different solutions and after two or three months I was finally successfully unblocking my merchant center and could potentially profit live on Google Ads. So that was amazing back then, it took a lot of frustration and a lot of headache right now and that's why I'm actually making this video to help you get unsuspended in your Merchant Center account or potentially reach out to me if you need any help with unblocking your Merchant Center account and today we are going over a random website that I found advertising on Google but had a lot of issues and need a lot of improvement for fixing their Merchant Center account because the chance is very high that the website is live right now but they will actually go down very very soon for a lot of misrepresentation things. So that's why I'm going to make this video today going over all the things that potentially are wrong with the current website and how they could potentially fix it to not even prevent but also solve merchant center issues, right? Because there's nothing worse than making profit from Google Ads and then boom, your account is shut down. So therefore it's much better to prevent things from happening on your account so you have a smooth and profitable runway of creating profitable ads on Google. My name is Robin. I've been active in the e-commerce industry since early 2019 whereas I also help people successfully unblock their Merchant Center account from the misrepresentation error. I've done more than 300 projects already successfully together with my team and that's why I create this video to share all the information and all the value that we learned to help you succeed and have a smooth and profitable runway in Google Ads. Without further ado, let's dive right into my screen and analyze the website what I found in Google Shopping. So the website I found here is called Pharma Food. So this is the product what I found uh, in Google Ads actually. And today we are going over the full website, how I could potentially analyze uh, this website for merchant center issues and how they would solve it, right? So let me also open the homepage right here to start from scratch. What we see here is the header menu and uh, the banner right here, we see up to 50% off, uh, but that could be quite a lot for Google. I would say implement 30% of the products with 30% discount right there. So potentially it doesn't look like fake urgency or scarcity, right, with discounted products. Also what we see here is pharma food, can be quite a trigger word to call your website like that, uh, because it has something to do with pharma, and for pharma products you need licenses, so it's kind of the gray area to choose a name like this. Also I see as a random dropshipper they use a trademark which is quite typically to uh, show that you are like high performance brand but if you have a trademark officially you're allowed to do this but if not Google can find out quite easily because there is a big database for that so it doesn't really make sense from the eyes of Merchant Center to look more premium but risk a suspension later down the line. Also we see here winter clearance, there's nothing wrong with that. Only the background here is not really high quality. So most of the time when people are facing a website need improvement in a website, it has something to do with the homepage. Uh, and as we see the quality of the image is not super good. It doesn't say anything about the products they are selling. It doesn't say anything about their website or anything like that. So yeah, this is not really a strategic way how to go over that. So also the same call or call to action as the background uh, can also lead to website need improvement. The bestseller section is actually uh, good, always nice to have because the homepage is more for the navigation to direct people to the right products, right? So therefore you need to have a bunch of uh, bestsellers in this case. I see they're using some reviews. I doubt if they are true because I see this is a typically drop shipping website with different sizes, images, it's a bit mess always. Uh, so yeah, it's always a risk to implement fake reviews because Google can see, for example, like what many people are doing is uh, reviews from a long time ago to build extra trust, but Google see that your website is actually, for example, the domain name is purchased last month, but your reviews goes like 10 months back. So they can feel the fake uh, trust here actually the, for Google. So that's not really a strong point. Also here, walk comfortably everywhere. Uh, is quite good. You need to watch out with false statements on the website for the misrepresentation error. Google is quite strict on this kind of things. And even this one, it looks quite 
mechanical like almost hospital stuff so uh, if this was my website i would take it a step back and also uh, try to avoid trigger words such as pain free and things like that also what is important is um, don't direct all the buttons to the same uh, landing page that's super important to not do that because it will lead to misrepresentation errors as well blog articles always nice for seo uh, what we are missing here on the uh, footer is actually the business information so the company name company address uh, company number and things like that besides that we see some policy pages which is good and also their support email uh, which is 100 percent needed so when we go back to the page what i found on google shopping as well we see the shoes actually in google shopping you have two options you either do the products with a white background or you take the products with a natural background, something like that. Uh, it's absolutely not allowed to have text on here or watermark, so try to avoid that as much as possible uh, when it comes to merchant center errors as well. Uh, we can see some reviews right here. We see that they actually have double reviews, Trustpilot most likely. The original Trustpilot doesn't look like this, so you need to be careful actually to implement something like this because it can cause some trouble and also Merchant Center can scan actually for logos and colors and keywords so if you are stating 700 reviews but your trust pilot is uh, not in the same state as this you also misrepresenting the truth so you can uh, risk a block account here we can see that the, the reviews are good they can look honest and original from the eyes of Merchant Center which is good because all products here are the same as we see on this image so that's also good we see that they offer free shipping and returns 30 days money back guarantee in stock ready to ship so these benefits are always good in terms of conversion rate uh, which is good like almost sold out can do but if you have that with all products right there it's like a fake urgency and scarcity so it doesn't really work that way uh, in terms of the merchant center so that's why it's better to avoid this kind of things also we need to double check if this is working properly so if we select black we get the black products the us size they're missing a sizing charge here so that's more of the conversion rating uh, less for the merchant center but still it's important to drive visitors from google into paying customers right so what we need to do is scroll down a little bit more um like actually it's not really allowed to have photos in the product description more text uh, due to the algorithms options in the merchant center and also let's check a few of the policy pages so this policy page is very less information like there's not a lot of information right here the bare minimum is there i don't think google merchant center will appreciate this if the rep is going over their website so it's important to have a bit more information about how many days processing time shipping time so yeah that's important us worldwide two to ten days so it's a little bit strange shipping information there is no return information or any other information or any price so uh, you don't see any, the shipping price here only free worldwide shipping which is okay but still like you need to mention like zero cost or anything like that so let's continue to for example the return information refund information right here 30 day money back guarantee if you're not happy we give you 100 percent reviews uh, refund sorry and then no massage things okay so you need to email them to get the return form uh, okay yeah this one looks a bit more decent there are better ways now with ai to create return and refund policies uh, but it's clearly stated that you can get your money back uh, you also need to state how long it takes for you to process this refund and for people to get their money back so that's also important information for the refund policy and then the most important page actually on the website is the contact page in this page you actually need to present everything that you need to state about your business so business name company information such as address uh, company number sometimes tax number as well so make sure to implement that everything and also uh, the email address need to be stated so uh, this is important and also contact field preferably which we see missing in this section actually so that's also quite missing like this website is in serious dangers actually because none of the things i mentioned they implement on their website so there is a high likelihood that actually they are going to be suspended anytime soon so by the way if you like this video make sure to put a thumbs up and subscribe on my channel so i can create more videos sharing over my valuable insights about merchant center misrepresentation error and i can make more reviews like this by checking other people's website and clearly explaining what you need to do and what you don't need to do when it comes down to unblocking your merchant center account 
If you need any help, feel free to click the link in the description where you can reach out to me personally so I can help you unblock your Merchant Center account successfully. All right, without further ado, let's dive right into my screen to continue reviewing this dropshipping website. So yeah, when it comes down to the contact page, also it's very important to have the contact field right here. So this is clearly missing right here. So you need several options for people to contact you as well. So also the business number and everything is missing here. So most likely their page is not strong enough right there. And then when we go back for the products, for example, so when we press add to cart, it's also important because Merchant Center is checking your full funnel, not only your product page. So when we go to checkout, we can see what information they'll provide in the Shopify checkout, which need to correspond with the information in their policy pages, right? So if you're stating free shipping in your uh, shipping policy, you need to show this kind of things in the shipping here as well. I'm not going over implementing all details, but we can see that most likely this page is quite good. They even had add a tip right here, which I don't, don't think is relevant. I would actually remove that. Otherwise, you need to explain these things in kind of your policy pages. So again, this is a point where Merchant Center can have their opinion about and most likely it make more sense to remove it because I don't think that if people are buying this kind of products that they want to give you a tip anyway because you don't provide more value than shipping just the product right so I would remove that in that way uh, here we can also see some policy pages which are important also here the contact information like this is not enough you know like you need to show your company name uh, your uh, email address your business details so at least have two contact options in the contact fields as well so this page is absolutely not enough here they even mentioned COVID-19 which is a long time ago already so it's time to remove this kind of things right so it's super important to have your full funnel uh, optimized for conversions as well and when we click on a few buttons we can go to the collection page uh, what is important here or what I would do to avoid any issues for the merchant center is actually try to avoid the difference between different images so or have all have white background images or have all with the same like uh, color background for example so especially when we go to product like this we can even check if they have some uh, things going on here that can cause an issue like we see that the image is very not clear or photoshopped right here and even though if you have different trigger words right here you can also find them in the merchant center because most likely this is a medical device where you need certain certifications for to even sell in the first place right so it's kind of tricky to go in this kind of niche because you spend a lot of time and money in creating the website like this and then suddenly you cannot advertise because of the merchant center regulations so therefore it's sometimes a bit tricky to go in this kind of things so yeah, here we can see some video of things, how it works actually. So I would never actually drop ship this kind of products because it's quite health related due to uh, this kind of reason. Uh, like if it's proven to work, then it's more for a doctor or something to sell it, not for a random drop shipper. Because if people are already in pain, then it's uh, not really nice to let them wait another month before products like this are actually arriving. So you can see actually um, what is smart what they do uh, like the algorithm has difficulty on reading text on images so you can put trigger words in the images and they found out less fast than if you put them in the like description like this so that's something you can consider if you want to fix and still are active in this kind of niche or you do certain claims that you cannot back up with information or certification you can just implement the text on images like this here we have some frequently asked questions also about the product which is nice for conversion rate we have a few images right here so that's also nice for the trust so overall this website looks quite good and that was actually the review of this random dropshipping website what i found on google advertising it's important to know that it takes less time and implement everything what you see here to avoid issues than try to repair if your merchant center account is already blocked so make sure to implement all the information what i presented here and take a clear sample of sharing my expertise for this random dropshipping website which i found on google ads and if you need any help with unblocking your merchant center account make sure to click the link in the description so we can personally jump on a call and make a plan of action to get your merchant center account back on track again and if you're for that whatever reason not ready for my personal help yet make sure to watch the recommendation video after this where i can go in depth explaining more steps you need to implement on your website in order to unblock your google merchant center account from the misrepresentation error i see you there